Hey guys, welcome to this video. I've been checking my YouTube channel here and I can see that you've been voting for videos and uh, Microsoft Security Essentials has got nine votes so I'm going to be making a video on this particular piece of software. Now obviously if you'd like to vote as well for these you can do so. These are the other votes that people are doing. Looks like uh, Spybot Search and Destroy uh, needs a review as well. That's got five votes. So I will do my best. Keep voting for these and also vote for whatever you like and I'll uh, do my best to make these videos for you because it's the requesting what you want so I'll do my best to make these videos so let's have a look I've already got um, Microsoft Security Essentials installed let's have a little read of the post that I made on my forum here and if, you, if you've actually joined my tech forum you'll see that there was an actual best free antivirus 2010 which was actually Microsoft Security Essentials there was a bit about it now if you have a little look down here you can see the best paid one was uh, Trustport 2010 and we've also got the best free one which was uh, Microsoft's now this is Microsoft here as you can see now you can get the full report it's uh, AV uh, comparatives that, that made the actual um, test and they've done uh, some stringent testing there and they've come up with this uh, list of um, antiviruses that uh, failed and, and actually worked out so Microsoft was pretty high up as you can see and it's free so let's have a little look at Microsoft itself this is Microsoft Security Essentials it's a free download and you've got the actual page here which gives you the options to quick scan full scan and custom scan okay pretty much similar to normal uh, antiviruses also you've got the update button there history this will show you what's been going on and what is cleaned and we've also got settings let's have a little quick look at the settings we can set a schedule which is pretty uh, the normal most antiviruses now default actions now these pretty much are default I've not touched these but if you want to change them you can remove or quarantine okay and set these how you like but I've just left them as remove uh, recommended actions sorry real-time protection this will run in the background and and give you real-time protection as well when you're downloading files and stuff like that I've also got exclude files and locations you can add actual an exclusion zone for stuff that you don't want to be uh, scanned or deleted or anything like that exclude file types and also exclude processes so you can add processes that you don't want to be scanned uh, advanced you can actually scan removable drives and also uh, make a restore point so you can put ticks in there okay so something's going on on the machine I think I've infected it already with something ready for this video and also you can actually got basic membership and also advanced now the advanced one I think sends information to Microsoft okay so that's the actual program I've got some uh, actual infections here five infections I'm only going to do five today and just actually try to install them and see whether um, Microsoft Security Essentials picks up on them so the first one we're going to do is we'll just copy this now this is an array of uh, antivirus programs and bots and uh, backdoors and stuff like that so let's uh, start it off I'm just going to actually open up this window I can see I've got redirects already and that's from a previous video so let's try to download this file Okay, the file's going to come down. I'm going to try and run and install it and see what happens. Okay, you can see down the bottom, Microsoft Security Essentials is actually tried to stop that. And let's have a look. It's a bot. It's a, a severe one, and it wants to give me a recommendation of remove, quarantine, or allow. So we're going to clean that or apply actions. Okay. That's that one done. So another one. We'll try this one. Let's try and see what happens here when we try this one. Okay, the file's coming down. Try and install it. And uh Microsoft Security Essentials is picked up on it again. Let's find out what it is. 
okay it's a Trojan and we're going to remove these okay let's try another one just going to try to download that so it's stopping these from getting it's stopping your system from being infected which is a good thing okay we're trying to install this one okay Microsoft Security Essentials has found that one as well as you can see it's another Trojan severe we'll just uh, try one more there link in try to run this let's try another one as well while that's downloading so it's done all of them so far let's open up another page hold on Okay, so I'm, while I'm doing that, I'm just going to actually open this up and try to download that and run the installer for that. Okay, and uh, let's have a little look. It's found that one, which is another severe one, another Trojan. I'm going to remove that. Okay, let's try and load this in. See what happens. Does it let that one go through? Okay, it seems to have let that one go through, unless it may pick up on it a little bit later on. What I'm going to do is have a little quick look at the processes. Okay, I can see something running there. I can see something running. So it's, and there's something there that I can see, which is probably to do with that file. So what we'll do is call that four out of five, which isn't too bad, which isn't too bad really. For a free application for a free virus scanner. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, please remember hit the subscribe button, show your support, and also if you want to be part of the actual team, there you can actually come over to our forum, register for free, or maybe you've got a computer problem but you'd like to get fixed and come over to here, register for free, and actually post your problems, and we'll do our best to help you. Okay, thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.